El proyecto que hoy iniciamos es un proyecto que sin duda va a hacer un gran impacto en nuestro centro. Eh, queremos crear un patio inclusivo adaptado a todos, nuestros a todos nuestros niños y a todos nuestros alumnos para atender a su diversidad y de esa manera eh, crear un patio muchísimo más alegre eh, y adaptado. Mi nombre es Laura, soy Laura Sánchez, soy la directora del Colegio Julián Besteiro, que es donde nos encontramos. Este es un centro muy especial por la cantidad de diversidad que tiene. Tenemos alumnos desde tres añitos hasta 12, eh, con un 70% de alumno extranjero. Eh, somos centro preferente para alumnos con autismo. Entonces eso hace que tengamos gran diversidad en nuestras aulas y que hoy necesitemos con tanta fuerza este proyecto. This experience of building something in a school is part of the purpose journey that we propose to our students at IE. It does not get more concrete than building stuff with your own hands. <laughs> and I was telling them that today this experience is about uh, them having a material, a concrete purpose related experience. So today we want you to work hard, to make friends, to experience new things and to have fun and at the same time to think about what it is that we're trying to do a purpose and at the end of today i want you to be able to stand back admire your efforts with the knowledge that you have made a difference to someone's life and that is priceless this has been an incredible experience to give back uh, to this community via this project. Not just a fulfilling experience, but very meaningful for us to be able to do this. We have seen the kids in the classroom wave at us, smile at us, and that radiates the energy and the happiness in all of our work. I think this purpose is beyond of what we're actually doing, of the painting and all the construction. It's from the heart, and we're touching kids' heart too. Doing community work is about very, very high quality. Imagine how these children are going to feel when they go into, you know, the final setup. You know, it should make them feel important. Quality is really, really important. We need to make sure that we focus in very closely on all of the elements of the build to make sure all of our edges and everything that could potentially pose a risk to young children alleviate all of those risks. That's better, eh? Yeah. And then because the wood's wet, it's feathered up a little bit. So when it's drier, we just get the sander. Robin and I have been working all day long on the hospital of the playground. It was totally fulfilling to have a purpose you can immediately see. In the general work we do, we have some kind of abstract purpose and this is totally different with this experience. I am really, really excited that IE first week starts this way. It's really amazing, it's really amazing. First of all, I want you to look to the sky, raise your hands and shout at the loudest as you can, STAY DRY! Stay dry. Day three is a really important day in the whole project, consolidating what happened on day one and day two, maintain the momentum, keep up the quality standards for completion on day four. What we're building here is a sheltered area for the kids to come out to have an, an outside class. The target is for this group to get this finished today. Looking at the kids, the things that we did today, the tables and the chairs that you're seeing behind, they're gonna enjoy it, they're gonna interact with it. And I guess a part of us is left here. And I think this has uh, marked a before and an after in our lives and what we also want to, to do in the future, in our careers. This will just make us wanna create more impact later on. Today is the final day of the project, so there is a lot of work to be done. Day four is all about consolidating what we did in day one, day two and day three and making sure that we pull it all together, paying fine attention to all the detail and making sure that we've got all of the elements of the build in place ready for our handover at 16.30 to the charity. Here we are, day four, finishing touches. They've been putting in the noodles today, sensory walkthrough going in and all the rest of the faces on, wheels on bells and mirrors in, so fingers crossed that I get everything finished it's one of the largest bits, the pieces for today. Since the moment that we stepped on campus, we saw all of the children gathering around here and it immediately set a tone of like excitement because we were able to see the kind of people and the children that we were going to be able to make happy today. Seeing the sense of community around and seeing how everybody's working together for a greater cause has been an incredible experience. This 
things are made to last 10, 15 years. So uh, this is going to be here for a long time and it's going to serve lots of different kids from all the diverse backgrounds. So it's a, it's a beautiful moment to be a part of.